I mean, I might have missed one practice this year. But if if somebody say he doesn't come to practice, it can be one practice. Out of all the practices this year, that's enough. If I can't practice, I can't practice, man. I'm hurt, I'm hurt. It ain't about that. I mean, it's, it's not about that at all. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but it's, 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 it's easy to, to, to talk about. It's easy to sum it up when you just talk about practice. We sitting here, I supposed to be the franchise player, and we in here talking about practice. I mean, it, listen, we talking about practice. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We talking about practice. Not a game. Not, a, not, not the game that I go out there and, and die for and play every game like it's my last. Not the game. We talking about practice, man. I mean, how silly is that? I mean, we're talking about practice. I know I'm supposed to be there. I know I'm supposed to lead by example. I know that. And I'm not, I'm not shoving it aside, you know, like it don't mean anything. I know it's important. I do. I honestly do. But we're talking about practice, man. What are we talking about? Practice? We're talking about practice, man. We're, talk we're talking about practice. When you come in the arena and you see me play, you see me play, don't you? You see me give everything I got, right? But we're talking about practice right now. We're talking about practice. Man, I look, I hear you. I, it's funny to me, too. I mean, it's strange, it's strange to me, too. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Dignified2K, man. We are back with another video. And as you guys can see, I know you guys have been enjoying the Allen Iverson videos. The last one I did did really well. And today, we're finally back. But as you guys can see, we've got the build at 99 overall. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. This build did take forever to get to 99 overall. So if you have any other videos you guys would like to see with this build, to be honest with you, I think it's a pretty good Chris Paul build as well. Let me know down below in the comment section. But let's go ahead and take a look. First, let's look at the badges. Now, you guys can see the badge selection is actually pretty nice. We got 19, 25, 22, and 25. So everything's maxed out. In this video, this is what we will be using. You might be thinking I'm crazy using Putback Boss, but you guys know, man, if you get a Putback Dunk this year, it's crazy. You know, Allen Iverson has some nice Putbacks, a couple of nice ones at least that I can remember. So we at least had to throw that on. And of course, we've got Giant Slayer. Now, the shooting badges, we get a Hall of Fame. But there's only a few really good ones that I like to use. We got difficult shots, hot zone hunter, range extender, quick draw, volume shooter, of course, green machine, and dead eye. We were gonna use corner specialist, but I didn't really see that big of a difference without using it. And you know, I think we're looking pretty good with the shooting badges. Now, these playmaking badges took forever since this is a green and red pie chart. You guys know the playmaking takes forever to get. So this is what we will be using. Of course, we got space creator and ankle breaker. We had to get some ankle breakers on the Allen Iverson build. You guys saw in the beginning, man, this build gets tons of ankles. We We've got Dimer and Bailout. The Bailout passes are hilarious this year. So this is what we will be using for playmaking. It's all around pretty solid. Now defensively, this build is only six foot tall. So you might be thinking, why are you using Chase Down Artist, Rim Protector, and all that kind of stuff like that? But when you saw me get that Snatch Block, I literally only had Rim Protector and Chase Down Artist on Bronze. We will be using Interceptor, Pick Dodger, Intimidator, Clamps, Pickpocket, all that good stuff. And today we're gonna be trying out Heart, Crusher. It says if you, you know, get like a steal or a block or something like that, their takeover goes down a lot. So I just wanted to test that out. And then next, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the actual progressions. It's actually solid. You got 99 speed, 99 acceleration, of course. The driving dunk is actually really good. If you guys don't think Allen Iverson could dunk, go watch some of his highlights. So we've got a 79 driving dunk, 85 three pointer, 88 mid range. 88 ball control and insane on ball defensive stats when i got that snatch block i'm pretty sure i only had a 32 block but now we're 99 overall so we got 36 regardless should not be getting snatch blocks with a 36 block but hopefully you guys do enjoy the video man it was a lot of fun to make you do not see this build that often so if you guys are new to the channel man go ahead and drop a like if you want to see me make any other legend builds guys I'm making one more legend build this year. Last one for sure. It's July as I'm making this. It's July 11th. So yeah, one more legend build this year. So if it's really good, make sure you comment down below. Like it, the comments, guys. If you see one that you would really want me to make, make sure you like it. And if I see enough of them, man, I'll go ahead and try it out. But without further ado, the legend Allen Iverson, man, let's go ahead and get right into it.
all right guys so we're here we're back on another 99 overall build at legend a very rare one like i said so we got the two-way scoring machine hey guys make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like on the video like i said not a lot of people are out here this late in the year grinding out these new builds but you know i know you guys are enjoying the new legend content and the new you know kind of a play style that you have to play with and like i said with this build it's pretty unique in the fact that at one it's six foot tall and two we're we're trying to go out here and ISO you know Allen Iverson really was doing the same thing carrying his team scoring a lot of these points and that's what we're trying to do out here today using most of Allen Iverson's animations like I said in the last video we used his size up we we are not using his jump shot I did try that and it's pretty bad but we're using his size up we're using his dribble style and the size up I know a lot of people use and for ISO you guys will see it's actually very solid but like I've mentioned in a few videos guys most people out here today are running the slasher and paint beast lineup or two slashers or something like that i feel like a lot of people are now finally starting to understand how overpowered these slashers are look at this, <laughs> look at this right here by the way i wish i would have finished that but i feel like a lot of people are finally starting to realize how overpowered slashers are and these two-way slashing playmakers and these paint beasts i know a lot of you guys have probably been watching you know these wagers a lot of people are coming out here now with shooting paint beasts that can shoot with a 53 ball guys so it's pretty much obsolete to have a corner sitting build this year when you have a paint beast that can shoot with a 53 ball in the corner and you guys have seen my Giannis build being able to shoot top of the key even hash at times it just kind of makes it obsolete you guys can see right here man like I said we're going up against two slashers and it's really not the most fun when you're six foot tall even though you have Hall of Fame defensive badges when you're six foot tall these long athlete layups it really just does it to you i'm not gonna lie these long athlete layups have to go next year i feel like these animations are just so overpowered it's ridiculous but you can see we're cooking up a little bit you know this Allen iverson size up is kind of nice but let me know down below in the comment section what do you guys think that 2k can even do to compensate for this long athlete type of layup you guys remember last year on 2k19 they had the euro step which was extremely overpowered this year they have hop steps I don't know man i just feel like this whole game this year is just pretty much if you can't get a three and i've shown it in this video as well if you can't get a three just run to the paint and hop step we can see our first little ankle breaker i'm the king of selling these clips now guys ever since i've been playing all these playmaking type of builds i've been selling a lot of clips but this time you already know what color it is man we're not selling it we get the green i'm just hoping 2k21 it's a little bit more skillful i feel like they need to add more finishing animations i feel like a lot of people hop step this year just because the finishing animations are terrible like stuff like that even though i know it's contested it's just like you don't get good finishing animations at all this year it's like i don't know just like you guys said if you don't get into the paint you don't hop step you're most likely not finishing that layup but you can see this time, I think we're going against like a facilitating finisher and a two-way slashing playmaker. Pretty much just trying to ISO me and hop step in the paint. That's all they've tried to do. But you guys can see, man, this build does pretty much everything. At six foot tall, you're able to speed boost. You're able to, you know, facilitate. You're able to dunk the basketball. You can shoot from very deep. And you can also break ankles. So it's pretty unique. But like I said in the beginning, guys, I need you to go ahead and comment down below what kind of builds you guys would like to see me make next. I only want to make like one more and then i'm gonna try to start to find some unique builds that i know a lot of people have at legend now i know a lot of people are legend so maybe i'll be able to find some new ones but i just know not a lot of people had this build i know you guys would like to see an Allen iverson build i might try to do like an Allen iverson and like carmelo legend type of build so you know we just got to find the right ones you can see right here i try to go in the paint i get swatted like i said i'm only six foot tall so it's hard to finish around the paint when you're not hop stepping but you can see we're comboing up a little bit right here he plays way too high up and with like 0.2 seconds left we get the slowest dunk animation but it ends up working now watch this right here guys this is the first time i played on a build that has playmaking takeover and it can get an ankle breaker you can see sizing them up pretty well nice little you know crossover kind of read what he's doing snatch them he's going to half court you already know what color it is man we're greening out here we're taking ankles and then we're greening the shot you can see every single time i drove in people would just help and that's another thing like i said when you're trying to get these game plays you guys know i'm trying to go crazy for you i'm trying to do unique stuff you know off dribbles three pointers taking ankles stuff like that just iso but a lot of people this year when you iso they just want to help i know you guys don't want to just see me dotting the corners unless it's like a competitive gameplay so when i'm out here at the park i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not trying to go out here and just dot the corner every single time you can see we're able to finish very well 
And I will say another thing, a lot of my guards out there, that even like if you're a play shot, or even if you're like a small guard like me that can't get contact dunks, but you can get like a high driving dunk, I very much so recommend you put on Giant Slayer. A lot of the time, like I said, I'm only six foot tall, but a lot of the time these guards, regardless, are going to be taller than you, like 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 6 whatever the case is. Every single time you go in with like Slithery Finisher and Giant Slayer, you get a pretty good animation. I'm not going to lie to you. These three gameplays you guys are seeing are just some three of the better ones that I had out here. It's not every single, you know, gameplay that I've actually gotten. And I'm not going to lie to you. These Giant Slayers, you know, animations are pretty overpowered. Even though I only had it on silver, I was finishing a lot of contested layouts. But you guys can see... Just whatever the case is, man. We're taking ankles. You know what we come out here to do. When you're on Allen Iverson, you just got to take ankles. But you guys can see most guys just try to hold, you know, circles so they don't get the animation. I get a weird contest right there. Snatch it back. Three-pointer. We shoot over those on the six-foot player to end the game, man. But hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. But it's been your boy Dignified. I'm out. Peace.